hello everyone welcome back to my channel crafty concepts with Erin I have a whole bunch of layouts to inspire you most of these are double page layouts and my temporary photo album was getting pretty full which tells me it's time for a scrapbook layout it's been several months since I have shared and many of these have process videos but I'm gonna go by collection with a few little random outliers so let me scoot these off to the side and we'll bring them in one by one We'll start with this one because it's the only one uh, with the Isabella paper collection. And actually there's a lot of paper collections in this one. I was doing some stash busting, but this is one of my go-to designs. I have replicated this look with the pattern paper strips on so many different layouts. It really goes well onto a double page layout and you can do different things with your photo orientation. But yeah, it's a great way when you have lots of pattern paper and you don't know which ones to use, you know, try a, layout design like this where you get to incorporate all of them and you know you can leave the ends straight or you could do little banner tails like I've done here and it's a pretty fast layout and it's also good for scraps because really the only ones that need to be long are the ones on the edges here all of these center pieces can be just you know a couple inches up top and on the bottom and no one will ever know that you're missing all of it behind there so this one does have a process video and these are my embellishment clusters are created with stamps from my stamp collection and the titles the stamp we've got some die cut seashells tucked in there and I really love how this one turned out it was a trip to the Amalfi Coast and a really good time we'll go from the beautiful sunny Amalfi Coast to a winter Christmas time layout because why not right this is a double page layout featuring the silver bells collection and I really love this pattern paper with the little string of lights going across. I chose to document some more formal photos of my son's school dance. Doesn't he look so handsome? And I love it because this boy loves to dance and he doesn't mind dancing with his mom. So that just makes me very happy. And again, I thought it, you know, was a dressy paper, but I saw a lot of others use this type of paper for kind of wintry outdoor layouts, even a farm layout, and it looked really great. So you just never know. And it's kind of a neutral color palette, so you could pull in lots of different colors depending on what the colors are in your photo. So I had a lot of fun adding some pops of gold in there and just kind of creating the embellishment clusters with the ornaments and stickers. So I love to mix die cuts and stickers and my stamped images images and create interesting embellishment clusters. And during my process videos, if you're new to my channel, I do go into a lot of detail about why I place things where I do and kind of, you know, share my thought process. So in hopes that it will help you uh, create your own layouts as well. So let's put this one aside. This is the Evergreen Collection. This paper pack has a very wintry, beautiful feel to it. So it's great for outdoor like skiing pages in the winter. Um, these are some outdoor shots of my son and his girlfriend and it's it was snowy and cold and I thought the colors played in so nicely. But I just, when I look at this, I see like a log cabin in the woods. It just has that feel to it. But also great for Christmas. And I really love the pine tree like or the pine bough snowflakes. I thought that those were really interesting how they are a snowflake but yet made from greenery and this little pine cone here is from the evergreen card making workshop and it was definitely a highlight for me I love that S simple little die I've been putting it on so many of my projects so this uh, layout has a flip flap where did I put that Sometimes I don't add the flip flaps until I put them into their permanent albums. I scrapbook chronologically. Well, I don't scrapbook chronologically. I scrapbook all over the place. Um, I just kind of document when I'm inspired to document, but I store them chronologically in albums. So sometimes I will not put the actual flip flap on until I get it situated in order in the album. But this little handy creation is one of close to my heart's most brilliant little designs. And I, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I use these quite a bit to add extra photos and journaling, but that'll just uh, stick on the outside of the page protector and you can flip it up and then have more uh, photos hidden underneath. So I've got lots more from the Evergreen collection to show you. Here's an example of how I used the Evergreen Christmas collection to document a summertime adventure. We were hiking in Rocky Mountain National Park, and this is a layout design I have recreated 
using different products. I think this might be the third or fourth time I've used this design. And it's so fun because it takes the guesswork out of it. You know, right where to put your photos, what size to print your photos, and then you just get to pick your embellishments in your paper. It's like following a sketch, right? I scrap lifted myself, but this is a design I really, really like. And I just think it lends itself well to, you know, lots of photos. You could add more using flip flaps here. And it was fun to use these triangle trees to create my little tree. These were a stamp and uh, stencil and die cut set that was really popular. There's that little evergreen card making pine cone again. I'm telling you, I just had so much fun with that and kind of went crazy with it. I've got uh, stamped images mixed with some die cuts. This is a stamp here. This was the, I think it was called National Park Badges. I'm not sure if that one's available, but it was a whole collection of the different parks and we'd like to visit the parks. We haven't seen them all. We've got a long ways to go, but I did pick that one up for my collection. I thought it would come in handy. So I've got one more evergreen one to show you. This one was a spinoff from the Evergreen Digital Collection. The digital collections are SVGs designed to coordinate with the uh, paper collections, but I really like them because you can just use the bits and pieces in your Cricut software or silhouette and kind of change things up to work for you. So the, you know, all these little sprigs and the pine cones, these are larger pine cones. So those were all from the digital collection, this lantern, which I think is so cute. The lantern was kind of like the must-have accent on the page. I did a little stenciling. Can you see the brick stenciling in the background? In our photo, we were standing in front of an old brick building, so that inspired my stenciling here. In this uh, video, I talked a lot about adding layers. You can see we've got a lot of layers going on, and I, I'm, this is really happiness to me. <laughs> I love the way this turned out. The title is Print and Cut from the same collection. And then you can get detailed edges like the scallops here, and then this uh, you know file tab on this layer here, and just little details like that add so much to the page, and I think it's really fun. Actually, I do have a six by eight layout featuring the Evergreen collection. I am super slacking. This is uh, December daily and I only have, look, I'm up to day three. There's not a process video for this one, um, but when I finish it, I'll share my, you know, December daily. When it's all done, we'll do a flip through. But yeah, I use the different elements here to document this snowy landscape. And then I got a new cowboy hat at the D-Bar M in Reno, Nevada, and I took this picture and sent it to my son because he was wanting a new cowboy hat. So I had to send it to him and say, hey, what do you think of this one? So I was just kind of striking a funny pose there. He liked it. So that's another use of the Evergreen collection. This little six by eight uh, size is so fun. If you haven't tried it, I it's really grown on me. And the creative design team has a couple sketchbooks that really make putting these layouts together much faster. And it's so fun for documenting December daily or maybe uh, a little mini vacation or something like that. Now we have some layouts from the Gnomes for Winter uh, special. Close to my heart had a whole gnome theme. Actually, one side of the paper was gnome theme and the other side was more just kind of neutral for the season. So you could kind of, you know, go either way and use the gnomes or not. And this was the winter collection. There's a spring and a summer or there's autumn uh, sp wow, autumn, winter, and spring. So I had fun documenting the story behind my son Clayton's uh, Blue Ranger here. And there's something about blue plaid. It just, I love it for my boys. And I, it just goes so well with a lot of their photos. So I actually got another one of these packs to use and document them. Um, but again, it has a nice winter feeling to it. All of these trees were from the Evergreen stamp set. And then I had a tire tread in my stash. So I stamped these decorative, you know, strips and just to add a little bit of the story through stamping with the tire track there. This is why I love my stamp collection so much. You know, you can just 
add little elements. So this, you know, paper collection was just winter themed, but by adding in the truck and these little road signs and, you know, things like this is a stamp, pedal to the metals a stamp, you know, it just makes it easier to really accent the photos and tell the story. So I had a lot to say, so I kind of typed it out on a piece of white daisy cardstock and then tucked that underneath this wood grain paper so it looks like it's printed on the background but really it's just this little piece here and I had fun stamping some snowflakes around the edge there here is the same gnomes for winter collection documenting my boys these photos were taken several years ago this was 2019 and we had a ton of snow that year and they would have so much fun sledding so I caught some or snapped some pictures and documented the sledding turned into you know snowball fight where they're trying to shove snow down each other's jackets and you know just that's what boys do right there's those same triangle trees that I used on the Rocky Mountain national park hike and they you know i ran them through my embossing folder and then sanded them that's another aspect i love about close to my heart cardstock is the white core because you can do so many fun techniques like this with the distressing and it adds so much to the cardstock just by you know embossing it and then sanding it so these were from the sticker sheet and then i just typed up my journaling and then took a tag die from the tags and tabs and cut it out to tuck in there. I think that always is a lot more fun than just having like a rectangle. There's nothing wrong with typing up your journaling on a rectangle, but doesn't that look cute when you put it on a tag? And it just adds a lot of uh, style to an otherwise plain block of white daisy cardstock. So there was this uh, stamp that set that went along with this collection and I stamped and colored those little guys with my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. This is another reason why I bought a second pack of the Gnomes for Winter collection. The blues and the greens and the browns really look great with outdoor photos and I'm going to use it in my Alaska trip album. This I created for the cover page so I got this idea. There's a whole bunch of I, you know, Pinterest layouts where they use the silhouette of the state. And I thought that was a good idea. So I cut this out on my Cricut and then the title is also from Cricut and then added some of those trees from the Evergreen collection. There's that pine cone again. And that there are a few of those left. Again, that's the Evergreen card making workshop. So the little row of pine trees was the branding strip from this collection and then I just brought in more of the brown using brown cardstock stamping my sentiments in brown and then of course like the brown up here in this area so I'm super excited I've been working quite a bit in this layout and I'm making or in this vacation album and I'm making a lot of progress this layout features the Love Notes collection, which was a Valentine special from Close to My Heart. And I didn't really have a whole lot of Valentine type photos, but you know, you can always, any love theme, right? I saw so many clever ideas and different themes that other makers and fellow crafters use this collection for. I decided to document my son Hayden and his girlfriend Desiree on their prom night. And I added my journaling in vellum. When you have patterned paper and you want to tone it down a little bit, vellum is always a great way to do that. And I like to tear the bottom. And then I generally attach my vellum by tucking it up underneath the layer because adhesive shows through. So tucking it up underneath there is a great way to have vellum on your layout. These little swirlies are paperboard die cuts from the Sweet Memories collection. And then I embe embellished with my layered flowers thin cuts. These are one of my favorite thin cuts because flowers are timeless, they're classic, and there's so many different bits and pieces and you layer them up and you can just, you know, depending on how you layer them and the, and the combination you layer them, they just look different every time. So those are really uh, a good staple to have in the craft room. I did create 
create a little miniature version of this one. I scrapbook for Desiree and she has a little six by eight album. So she gives me photos and then I scrapbook uh, layouts for her. It's, uh, it's great because I have more photos of my son ever since we started doing this. So here's a little mini version that she can tuck in her book and close to my heart, six by eight page protectors are side loading. So what I did is I created this little pocket. I popped this one up with some foam tape and I put some journaling lines on the tag and she'll be able to just pull that out and I wanted it to kind of be a little accent so I put some of that paper to draw the red over to the you know left side and then she can add her own journaling. I don't journal on her pages because you know it should be from her perspective. So it's kind of a little miniature version of the big one and I just shrunk it down. That's always fun to do is shrink the shrink the sketch right? Here I actually did use the Love Notes collection to document a Valentine's Day dinner. My husband and I were enjoying some dessert after a really nice dinner. And if you caught this video, I kind of tried the hearts in a couple different, uh, you know, styles. I put them down here under the photo block, which looked really great. But then I decided to have them kind of floating up out of this super cute envelope. The envelope is also part of this collection. It was a die that came along with the coordinating stamp set. And then again, I've used the Sweet Memories die cuts for my title and to embellish the uh, envelope. And again, added vellum for my journaling. So you can see how that's loose. I just adhere it. I put my tape runner under and, you know, adhere it underneath there so you don't see any of that. And I, that's just how I like to do it. And for some reason, I like to tear the bottom of my vellum too. I think it adds a little texture to it. And otherwise, you know, it's just kind of, um, it almost makes it stand out a little bit more that, hey, this is a layer when you tear the bottom like that. But this was kind of fun. We don't celebrate Valentine's Day very often, so it was nice to go out and have some ice cream. He, of course, had a giant brownie bomb. I just went with the ice cream. I have several layouts I created featuring the Skylark collection, and this was a bring back my pack. So it was actually a paper collection from many, many years ago, and they kind of give it a fresh update and bring it back. I loved it back then and had even more fun with it this second time around. So this was a trip to Ohio. My friend Melanie here, I went to visit her and attend her scrapbooking retreat, and we went to the Stan Hewitt house to tour the gardens. It was just gorgeous. So you can see here, I do have a flip flap that's going to sit over that photo and flip up. So I tucked in a few more. Those are three by four size. So you can see this is a great design for incorporating a lot of photos. And then I had a bunch of pocket cards I wanted to use up. So I just kind of looked for ways to sneak those into the layout. There's a pocket card there, there, there's one there, and then three of them there. So I think I did pretty good making a dent in that pocket card stash. But this was the first layout I created with this collection. And I went with this design kind of inspired by trying to work in the pattern. When you have a pre-printed background like that, it's fun to make that part of the design and really play that up. So I wanted it to kind of frame in my photo. On that same trip to Ohio, we this was a scrapbooking retreat. So I documented the actual retreat with the same Skylark collection. And this one, I was following a sketch from Close to My Heart's volume six uh, sketchbook. And it was a single page layout. So I turned it into a double page layout. And on the sketch, they had these fun pattern paper squares. So I just kind of flipped the sketch and put the squares on the opposite side. And I think that really kind of draws your eye and adds a nice balance. Sketches are so fun because, you know, you can use them as a jumping off point, but they remove a lot of the decision making. And you can just kind of, you know, otherwise it can take a long time to create a layout because you have to decide, you know, how do I want my photos? How do I want the paper? What paper do I want to use? So taking a sketch uh, or using a sketch kind of removes some of that uh, decision making for you so you can get to the creating part. But yeah, I kind of like these little squares on here. It's something I will definitely repeat again. This is my favorite layout featuring the Skylark collection. And I think it's just because 
the photos played in so well with the paper. It's almost like they were made to go together. This is my niece at like a Celtic fair dressed up as a little fairy and the colors just really went well. And the mushrooms are from the Cozy Up Digital Collection. I cut those on my Cricut and then the ferns are just a, you know, Cricut image that I found by typing in ferns as, as well as these mushrooms over here. So there's more pocket cards. I was doing good. There's a pocket card there too. <laughs> It's like, use the, use your stash, right? Um, this paper pack had a really nice garden botanical feel, but you can see I used it to document, you know, two different garden type photos, but then also the scrapbooking retreat and it still went really well. So yeah, love how this one turned out. The ferns, I just, I think they're so pretty. I like the texture and the look of those ferns. But yeah, we got the little dragonfly, that's from this stamp. And then there's that envelope again from the Love Notes collection there. So I kind of went crazy when this little envelope came out and started adding it to all my layouts. This is a layout featuring the Sweet Memories collection. And I thought this collection, or think this collection, lends itself very nicely to heritage type photos. And I documented this picture of my in-laws. This was taken one month before their wedding at her senior prom uh, back in 1969. So I just thought that this is the stamp set and I used that for my title. And the little uh, film or photo reel here is from the uh, digital collection and then there was some die cut shapes. I love film strips. I think they're so cool and they just really go well with scrapbooking, right? Cameras, film strip, it just always seems to work well. I've got some of the paperboard swirly shapes. Oh, actually those were from the card making workshop. It had a die in there with the swirl and that uh, was popular. Everybody loved the swirly die because you could just tuck them in. So they look great with floral embellishment clusters, but you can use them for, you know, other things outside of florals. But yeah, this was the first layout I created featuring this collection. I hope I'm not moving too quickly for you. If you want to see these layouts in detail, I always share over on Pinterest, Facebook or Instagram. If you're looking at a double page layout, it might be easier to look at it on Pinterest, but I'll leave my social media accounts in the description box below. So you can just head on over and you know, you won't have to scroll too far back because these are ones I've just made in the past uh, three months or so. So another sweet memories layout. And this is one I've recreated. Uh, I did an ocean themed layout using the Cape Cod collection with the same, uh, orientation or design. So we were celebrating a milestone I uh, reached here on YouTube. So all of my crafty friends were scrap lifting me. And of course I scrap lifted myself too. So that's where this one came into play. There is my, you know, vellum for my journaling. And then I just kind of clustered up. This was my main focal photo. We were at a scrapbooking retreat in San Francisco and the house was a, you know, a very vintage style house. So I thought that the paper colors played very well into that. There's that little photo reel again, and then some stickers from the sticker sheet. There's some of the swirls from the die cuts. There's that same stamp set. So this is the same one I use. Let me grab it here on my in-laws page, I stamped it in black and then that's my main title. And over here I stamped it in uh, mist, I believe. And now it's a subtitle. So, you know, it, that's what I love stamp sets, you know, with title options like that. Um, you can just use them over and over again. One of my favorite things to do is take a paper pack and use it in a very unexpected way. So when you first look at Sweet Memories, you see, you know, it looks very feminine. We've got these soft colors and patterns, but here I've used it to document the Devil's Tower National Monument. I've got that reverse. This goes this way and it's, you know, kind of, I just pulled in some elements to give it that outdoor feel. I think that the camera paper lends itself well to you know, so many different things as well as the ledger paper. And then this is a pattern paper from Sweet Memories also. So just kind of by eliminating the florals and eliminating the, you know, pinker tones, 
I was able to achieve a more masculine outdoor style layout using those same products. And we've got a lot of stamps here. These are, this was from my stash. And then this is a current product. If you are watching this when it comes out from the Let's Go Anywhere collection. And I'm very excited about this little compass die. I document a lot of outdoor photos and travel photos. So, you know, I like to pick up pieces like that that I, I know I'll be able to use over and over again. This layout features the Let's Party collection, which is a birthday themed collection. And I documented my son's 16th birthday with his birthday buddy there. They were born on the same day. And this is actually a sketch I used in my customer appreciation group. We do a sketch challenge once a month. So I'll share all the measurements and everything and they get a handout. And this was uh, a recent sketch challenge we did. And it was so fun to see everybody's different take and, uh, you know, on this layout. It just shows you how versatile scrapbooking can be. Now I did have additional photos. So this is a pocket plus uh, insert that close to my heart makes these are fabulous for sneaking in extra photos and it'll just you know it's the same as the page protector so it'll sit in the album and you can add more photos or journaling and I like to kind of these are four by four squares but I still used a three by four photo which leaves me a little bit of room to add some you know fun embellishing same thing over here got my son in the tractor and I added a couple stickers from the sticker sheet just to make that a little bit more interesting and add some uh, embellishing there. So I've got a couple more. Uh, I just, I'll leave this one here so you can see how it definitely is birthday, right? We've got sprinkles and birthday cakes and balloons, cupcakes. The cupcake is from the coordinating stamp set, but I also use this one for a race layout documenting my son uh, earning or hit a blah. He, wow, what is the word? I'm not to earn. I guess it is earn. <laughs> he landed in first place for the season. He's a mountain biker. And uh, this was the very last race of the season. So this paper here says yay, which really goes great for any celebration, right? So I use some of the elements to document uh, a layout that's non-birthday themed and I, I just love it. I love how it turned out. This layout makes me really happy and uh, he thought it was cool. So that's always a bonus when your kids, teenage boys tell you, yeah, that's cool. Actually, I shouldn't even say teenager. Hayden's a young man now. This isn't necessarily the Let's Party collection, but it was created with the mix-ins that were designed to go with that collection, the same color. So we'll bring this one in and we're documenting my cat Dave and his crazy antics of uh, sitting on my back while I'm exercising. There he is. Look at him. He's so handsome and he's getting in my husband's face there while he's trying to do some lat pull downs. It's just, he's hilarious. So this was a recent video I shared and a lot of you really enjoy seeing Dave and his shenanigans. He does tend to make an appearance from time to time in my videos. But this is a sketch from the Creative Design Team sketchbook, which is a digital download. And I'll have all the information for those sketchbooks in the description box below. But uh, we, the Creative Design Team, collaborated and we each decided to pick a sketch and share it. We didn't know what each of the others were choosing. There's lots of sketches in the book and it was so funny because three of us picked this same sketch. So we all must really have loved it. I do. Definitely one I'll recreate again. I think it's a lot of fun. Speaking of the creative design team, we have a membership group and each month we pick a different topic that's technique based, not product based. So you can use what you have and, you know, recreate using the techniques that you learn in the group. So there's weekly classes featuring that same topic and then there's weekly tip videos and a monthly challenge. And the topic for this month was rainbow colors. So it was really neat to see the different interpretation. There's seven designers in the creative design team and we all have a little bit different style. So it's really fun. The diversity makes it really interesting. And then we learn so much from our community too, when they will create the products based off of what they've learned from the classes or create the, the 
layouts or cards based off of what they learned and then share it with us. So I, this was one of the projects I created. Uh, there were several, but I wanted to share this one with you. It was a little stash busting, but I had so much fun using a rainbow color scheme in these leaves documenting this fun story of my husband just eating his delicious pineapple treat. He was waiting all day. We were in Maui and he just couldn't wait to get some pineapple. So he finally got it and he's so happy and cracking up. And I like the color, it just kind of captures that tropical feel. And it worked well because there's a lot of the colors in the photo. But yeah, this is one of the um, projects I created amongst several for our rainbow color topic. This is another layout I created. The theme was geometric shapes, and this is just one of the projects. So I chose triangles and I created, there were lots of cards, slimline cards, you know, regular A2 size cards, and then the scrapbook layout. And that's another fun thing about the group. So we'll show you the technique that we are teaching. And then there's lots of ways and examples to use that and apply that technique. So this was just one of the layouts I created featuring triangles. And there's those evergreen pine cones again. <laughs> They're just so cute, right? And it's a layering die. So you've got the top detail die along with the base and then the pine sprigs. So this is stash busting. I used an older collection, but the focus again was on the triangles. And I really thought that that was a fun look. This would be fun for like mountain pictures pictures too. We were in Yellowstone. Uh, it's hard to see the photos there. Some of them are kind of dark, but yeah, really fun memory there. Totally random and out of order, but there is another layout featuring the Silver Bells collection. It got shoved underneath the album there, but I used this card frame. This challenge was use something in your stash that you had never used before. Anybody else guilty of that? You buy something and then you don't use it for whatever reason. Well, for me, it was this oval frame and I really like it. I think it's gorgeous. So I decided to pull it out for the challenge and put it to use. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm document or I documented my niece there looking so beautiful in front of the Christmas tree but she's wearing a tan skirt and there's a lot of the toffee color in this gorgeous Christmas paper so that's why I selected uh, this one and then I just brought in some greenery from the evergreen uh, card making die set there uh, but yeah so that's always a good challenge find something in your stash and you know just challenge yourself to use it now these were created very recently here on my channel but just in case you're new I will and you know, I'll share them again anyway, because they're about to get tucked into their forever albums. This is a layout created from the creative design team sketchbook. And I don't typically do collage style layouts, but I absolutely love how this turned out. The original sketch has a couple strips of pattern paper. My friend was just here from out of town scrapbooking with me, and she recreated this sketch and hers turned out gorgeous. I loved it, but she used pattern paper um, strips like the sketch suggested, but I had this scenery paper that played into the sketch, but it was so perfect for the photos. I had to use it. Change of scenery is still available, just the paper collection. The sticker sheet is no longer available, but it's a gorgeous outdoor collection. This is uh, another one. Again, if you watch all my videos, you just recently saw these, but you know, sometimes it's fun to look at them a second time around, right? And I've used change of scenery. This was a sketch from Close to My Heart's sketchbook. And then I created this as a companion layout because it just had the one side, it was single page, um, and I had more photos. So I wanted to create that double page. So it's always kind of fun to see how you can take a single page and, and turn it into a double page. It's easy to go the other way. It's easy to take just one page from a double page layout, but I know some of you struggle with creating a second page for those single page designs. But yeah, I think I'm on my third pack of paper for change of scenery because it's just so pretty. I love it. Alrighty, friends, I hope you saw lots of inspiring ideas to try. Don't forget down below in the description box are the links to my socials if you want to see any of these. And then I will also put all these videos into a nice, neat little packaged playlist for you so you can easily find them just by clicking view full playlist, which is in the description box below. And I'll also leave it 
in the end screen. If there was something you are curious about but can't find it on my website, just you know, ask me in the comments and I will, if it's still available, I will find it for you and give you a link so it will be easy for you to locate. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this. I will also have the information for the sketchbooks from the creative design team in the information below, as well as uh, information about our membership. If you're interested in that, try it out for a month. And, you know, there's no commitment long term, but it's a really fun community. And it's just, like I said, really great to see everybody's different approach to a given technique topic. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon here on YouTube. Bye.